Hello everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the Thanksgiving side potluck dishes. So this is part two and we're gonna be making two of my absolute favorite Thanksgiving sides. The first one we're doing is squash casserole. Even if you don't like yellow squash, you'll like this dish because it's really, really tasty. And it can feed a crowd. Perfect, perfect for a potluck. You're gonna need some yellow squash. I have six kind of medium sized, normal sized squash, sour cream, mayonnaise, a medium sized onion, some good old sharp cheddar cheese. You can't see it in this, so I'm gonna open it for you so you can see. Ritz type crackers. Piles and an egg. I forgot, you need an egg for this as well. You're gonna need a few seasonings and I'll show you those along the way. So let's get started making the squash casserole. Now for me, I'm gonna be cooking it in the iron skillet because the iron skillet can be put in the oven and stove top. And for this, I wanna start out on the stove top and then stick it in the oven. So it keeps me from having to dry up two dishes. So less dishes, the better. I wanna start by chopping up the squash. Okay, these seeds are a little bigger than I like. So when they're this big, I don't like to keep the seeds and the squash because it makes the dish kind of slimy. So I cut most of the seed out. You don't have to do this if the, if the texture of those seeds doesn't bother you, you know, just keep them in. But for me, I just don't like that slimy texture and I noticed Kylan and Ryder and Brayden doesn't care if there's seeds in it. But Kylan and Ryder and Dusty like it better when it has a not slimy texture. So I just like to cut those out. And just dice them up however you want. And don't worry, the seeds aren't going to waste. I'm gonna feed them to my chickens. Ah, we have all the squash chopped and my chickens have a good little tree over here too. So that's a good thing. To get these out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in that skillet with three tablespoons of butter. I'm not gonna start cooking them yet. I'm just gonna throw them in that skillet because I need the cutting board. <laughs> I'm gonna slice up some onion. You can cut the onion however you like. If you want it fine. But I think for squash casserole, cutting them up like this, it makes it taste good. You get more flavorful onions. And the boys can pick them out easy if they don't want the onions. I'll just leave it that way. Toss the onions in there. start sauteing these up just a little bit. I'm going to put about three pinches of salt. This is all the salt I'm putting in it. I'm going to put a big hefty peach of pepper. I'll put two pinches of pepper. Okay. Melt that butter. For seasonings, I'm using garlic powder, not measuring nothing. Just stopping when I feel right. A little bit of onion powder. And just a little bit of paprika. Thank you. 
starting to look pretty good. I want for them to get a little bit more color to them, though. They're starting to have a little bit more color. Starting to get a little crust on the bottom of the pan. That's flavor, baby. Flavor. So what I'm going to do now at this point, I'm going to turn off the heat and I'm going to let this rest. And then I'm going to mix up the creamy mixture that we're going to add into this. I just don't want the skillet to be popping hot when I put that in there. So. For the mixture we're going to do, I'm going to eyeball a third cup of sour cream. This jar of mayonnaise is about gone, so I'm just, it, they're going to be mixed together, so I'm just going to use that anyways. I'm going to do a half a cup of mayo. Hopefully, I will have to open another jar. I don't think I will. We're going to add that one egg. About a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. Mix this up. There she is. Butter. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm lame. I know. Um, but what we're going to do is take a half a stick of butter and go ahead and melt this because we're going to need this in just a moment. It's cooled down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add that mixture we just made. Okay, let's stir this up. Mix it up real good. Flatten it out. Now you're gonna take your Ritz or your Ritz like crackers and crumble over top just like this. Now you're gonna take that melted butter and drizzle over top of the Ritz crackers. Now we bake this beauty on 375 for 30 minutes, y'all. It's done and she's looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and cut into this baby. Yes, please. Up close bites. Mm. This is nice. I like this. Just tasting this, it already makes me really, really want a Thanksgiving ham or turkey with stuffing on the side. It hits the spot. A little, not bad. Mm. Buffer. <laughs> it's busted. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> if you want your squash casserole a little bit creamier, you can add some milk to your mixture, but we like it like this. You can taste the kind of tanginess of the mayo and sour cream better, and it goes really, really good with the squash and onions okay for the next thanksgiving potluck side we're gonna be doing one of the this is this is probably one of my favorite top three top three things for thanksgiving my sister usually makes this my sister emily and 
I request it every year. It's so good. It is so good. I have to share it with you guys. It is a sweet potato casserole. And this is not, this does not include marshmallows. Just to let y'all know, no marshmallows here. This is so good. So what you're gonna need, get you a three pound sack of sweet taters. You're gonna need some white sugar, good old milk, some butter, a little bit more than a stick. Is it healthy? Probably not. <laughs> You're gonna need two eggs, plus some seasonings that I'll show you along the way. And we're gonna make a topping. And for the topping, you're gonna need three ounces of pecans, some brown sugar, and some all-purpose flour. Let's get this going. I'm excited. The easiest way, in my opinion, to smash some sweet taters because they're so tough. The skins are so tough. And it's kind of a pain in the rear end <laughs> to peel them. So what I like to do, I'm gonna wash them up real good. We're gonna stab them with forks and we're gonna microwave these babies. <laughs> it's easy, I swear. I have my washed sweet taters here. I'm just gonna stab holes all around. Wash your hands, don't poke them. If you have a lid that fits your bowl, you can go ahead and use that when you put it in the microwave. Just don't clamp it down all the way so it can vent. But what I like to do, especially with the bowls that have this little pour spout, I just put the, a plate that's microwave safe on top and it vents it like that. So I'm gonna put this in the microwave for about 10 minutes. I think they'll be soft enough after 10 minutes. If not, I'll just keep adding time until everything's soft. Alrighty, they cook for about 15 minutes and they're very tender. And to get the skin off, I'm just going to run a knife. Oop, still a little hot. So much easier this way. If you blanch these in ice cold water, it really helps. It's just, I used all of my ice <clears throat> and I don't have any at the moment. So this is fine. It's still easier. All right, y'all. I have my sweet taters all peeled. Took me about five minutes cause they were really hot still. And I was impatient like usual. You're gonna need a whole stick of melted butter, half a cup of milk, a half a cup of sugar, and y'all, I'm eyeballing it. A pinch of salt, a dash of vanilla, two eggs. And then I'm just gonna take all this and mash it together with a good old tater masher. Get you a nice little casserole dish. I'm gonna pour this sweet tater mixture in here. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm gonna set this aside now and we are gonna make the topping. I have a half a stick of melted butter here and I have a half a cup of all-purpose flour. One cup of brown sugar. Give us a good little stir. or three ounces of chocolate palms. And I am going to actually use my hands for this because it's kind of moist 
from the butter, it's really hard to kind of spread because it's so thick. And I'm just gonna crumble this on top. The sweet potato casserole is ready to go into the oven. I'm baking it on 375 for about 25 to 30 minutes. This will be the best thing that you have all Thanksgiving. I promise. At least in my opinion. Oh, it smells so good. Do you see how pretty? I mean, actually, she's not very pretty. It's actually kind of ugly. <laughs> but it smells amazing. This is like my favorite thing at Thanksgiving. Besides my memo stuffing. Correct? You want to come try it? You want to be the taste tester on this one, Dusty Boo Boo? Uh, what is it? Sweet tear casserole, the really, really, really good kind of Emily makes every year at Thanksgiving. No, it's, it's just so good. That was like lava! Oh my gosh, you have a mouth made of steel. Is it good? You liked it. <laughs> Can I have a taste? What? <laughs> I just want to make sure it's as good as it usually is. And it is steaming. It is hot. How did you do that? That's my favorite thing. So nice. That concludes my awesome, most favorite Thanksgiving potluck sides. And I'm not kidding. Part one, if you haven't seen it, I will link her down below. This is part two. I have four in total. Creamy chicken casserole. Why did I hesitate? I don't know. Honey creamed corn. And it's the best. I was eating it out of a bowl. I was like, this is the best corn I've ever had. I love that corn. You know the corn that everybody brings to a potluck and it has like a white sauce. And you're like, what is that? How do they make that? It's so good. That's it. So I'll leave that link down below. And then I hope you enjoyed today's. And if you try these recipes, I hope you love them. If you want to like do a little twist and make them your own, do it. It's totally fine. Some people put a little bit of cinnamon in their sweet potato casserole. And like I told you earlier, you can put some milk if you want it extra creamier in the squash casserole. So I hope you guys enjoy these and be on the lookout in a couple days. I'm gonna have a Thanksgiving no-bake dessert video. It's like the best no-bake dessert that my family, extended family, all of us make for Thanksgiving. So good. Okay, I love you guys. Remember, as always, be positive, kind, and happy. And I love you guys. Love you. I'll see you next video.